Hi guys, Dean Wenzel. Hey, today I'm going to show you how to um, put a different kind of a frame on a painting. In this case, it's a 16 by 20 uh, painting that's going to go over some rough cut wood. I just took some fence boards and, and ripped them and uh, put the canvas right on top of the frame. It's kind of a neat look. Hope you like it. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a uh, piece of wood. What I did was I took a fence board, old fence board, um, and I ripped it in half. So this is a stack of fence boards ripped right in half. Typically those are about six foot long by five and a half inches wide. And I ripped them right down the middle. And so what I'm doing now is I'm cutting these on my miter saw at a 45 degree angle. Okay, so there's a 45. I'm going to cut a 45 over here. And the way I measure these is if it's a 16 by 20 canvas, then what I want to do is I'm going to measure 16 inches. From one end down to down to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from one end but I'm going to have my tape measure up along the edge. So you'll see that um, I'm not on the very bottom of the wood, but I'm up to where my tape measure is flush with the outside of the wood. And so I'm going to measure all the way down 16 inches, actually 20. I'm going to start with a 20 incher. So I'm going to measure right there at the 20 mark. And the reason why is because I want the frame to be slightly smaller than the canvas. So I'll cut that. Okay, so I have my 20, 20 uh, inches cut and my 16 inches cut. But let me show you how I cut them in terms of length. So this is a canvas. This is a typical 16 by 20 canvas. And I'm going to measure it. And you can see it's 20 inches long by 16 inches wide. Okay, now I'm going to set the canvas aside for a second. I'm going to show you how I measured the 20 inches and the 16 inches. So I'll put a 20 incher out and a 16 incher out right here. Okay. Now, the way I measured it was I took my tape measure and rather than putting it on the very outside of the piece of wood on the inner angle, I put it up on top of the piece of wood. But it, the outside of the tape measure is flush with the piece of wood now. And that's where I made my measurement. You see there, that's a 16 incher. The reason I did it that way is so that the frame, when it's put together, is slightly smaller because the canvas is going to be put on top of the frame. That's what gives it kind of that cool look. So I'm going to do the same thing with the 20 incher along the outer edge, and I'm measuring all the way down 20 inches right there. Okay, and that's how I cut those on the miter saw. Okay, so I've fitted them together. I have not uh, nailed them together yet, but I have fitted them together. And what I'll do is I'll take my nail gun and I'll just nail each of these corners together. Okay, so I've finished putting this together with some two inch brads. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a painting right over the top of it. So I've got a painting sitting over here that about a half an inch overlap. So I'm, I'm not going to fit it inside of it. I'm going to fit it on top of it about a half an inch overlap on each side. So 
if I look over here, I'm just going to overlap that on each side about a half an inch. So probably about right there, probably about right there. So there's overlapping at each corner. That looks about right. You look down at that, that's about how it'll look. So I'm going to go ahead and put a small brads to attach it to the board. And I'm pretty much just putting one at each corner just so we don't have too many nails on the canvas. So I put one on each corner. You barely see them. And now I might go ahead and put one right over here on the side. Real on the very edge. And one over here. And that should do. We don't want a lot. We just want it to hold. And there you have it. Now, what I'll probably do is paint the edge of this uh, black, the edge of this canvas right here, just to, I don't have to, I kind of like like to do it that way. But this is what it ends up looking like. You can kind of see that. Kind of a nice look. What I'll do to the back is I'll put some, some um, little hardware to hang it on a wall. And so there you have it. I'll just set it right up here so we can step back and take a look at it. And that's what it looks like on the wall sitting on top of the frame. Pretty nice look. I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, Make sure you put your comments down at the bottom and like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Let's keep this going. Thanks.